Hi friends, this is Kalpun Piso. Be cut. Brain is creating a thought. Yeah, climate change is a problem because of us. Evolved mutated primates with Christianity nonsense anti-science morons stuck in the Middle Ages. The Lord's most powerful message is mercy. Uh, nonsense. And that means welcoming. And that's the problem. These people are being anti-science and stagnating the intellect. Look at the outfits. Look at the outfits. And this. This crucifix is a tropaeum. It's a symbol of victory. Julius Caesar the Christus was placed the image of after he was killed. This is the Jesus Christ, Julius Caesar. His blood was sacred. He was the son of Venus, which is Maya, which is Virgin Mary. This idiot don't see it. And he was killed. 23 stab wounds, 44 BCE, 15th of, of, of uh, March. That's where the whole thing comes from, because all the, the, the Roman emperors were divine. They became divine emperors, kings. It's just like Potus, president of the United States. The same thing, it's a title. And there were basilicas and there were temples on a bill to Julius Caesar, the Jesus Christ, the Christus, the Solomon. Because Solomon is also a title. Sol is the sun god, and Amun, also the hornet sun god, Sol Amon. And also Barabbas is the son of the father. So all these are titles. And they come from the vast, vast Roman Empire. And, it, it, and the titles start dividing. Uh, Jesus Christ, the person of Julius Caesar, and all the Roman divine emperors held the title of Jesus Christ, the title of Archidius Magistus, that was held by Julius Caesar. And eventually, uh, uh, with time, the title became alive, became a person that nobody can find in, in, in the fourth century. It's like saying Potus, president of the United States, and saying Barack Obama. And Potus, Barack Obama. And all of a sudden, 2,000 years later, all of a sudden, everybody's talking about Obama. He's a compa I mean, uh, talking about Potus is a composite of all the different presidents of the United States, and nobody can find Potus. Because Cot Potus is a composite. The same thing with Jesus Christ, with, uh, with all these different titles of uh, dif different gods. Uh, all the uh, divine Julius Caesar or Jesus Christ is a title, Archeos Megistus, anointed savior, son of Venus, uh, uh, one with Jupiter, and all that. It's a title. So that's what the origin of Jesus Christ, who comes from Archeos Megistus, began, evolved. Because the, thing is, the modern languages of today were not spoken, were not spoken in ancient times. They were created after the fourth four century, evolved. It were the, Latin, the, 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 the English and the Spanish and they all evolved with the different titles, the different words. It's like the word day. It comes from Dios, it comes from Dio. It, comes from, uh, it means God. The seven days of the week are seven days, the seven gods of the week. So that's where it comes from. So this is anachronism. Christian, Christianity. Believing God is a mental illness. It's a dysfunction of the brain. In ancient times, they didn't even have an idea they had a brain. They, be, they believe everything comes from the heart. That was the soul. So that's the reality. Obama is a potus, and Octavius Caesar Augustus was a Jesus Christ. If you know archaeology and ancient history of the ancient times, like here, the statue of Matidia Minor here, which it became Matilda, Saint Matilda, later in the Catholic Church, the dumb morons, they copy everything. And that's what they got everything from. All this that I got from the Roman Empire. All this. In a place like that, under arches, was the divine Jesus Christ Roman Emperor. That was sitting in there, was also a divine emperor, the divos. And they sat in there, and this was just what the wax image of Julius Caesar was placed during his funeral. An image, a mannequin, on a big thing, which is a tropaeum, is a symbol of, of, uh, of victory. It's not nothing to do with torture, you morons. There's no evidence, single evidence, uh, the Romans crucified people. No, because it's a symbol of, of, of victory. You're not going to stick somebody on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a cross and put them in. It's a symbol of the sun god. You don't want to stick it on the air.
to punish them. No, you impel them. You put them a, a, a big rod up their asses and put them in there to die. That's what the Romans used to do. They used to put it on a cross and exhibit it. They did the image of Julius Caesar, the Christian was placed on a tropa elm, high up. So everybody could actually see the, the God that they have killed, which was Julius Caesar, the divine God, son of Venus. And during his funeral, well, well he was laying down, being going to be cremated in the place that now is the, is the temple of Divus Julius in the Roman Forum. That's where all the Christian temples come from and churches come from the from the te Roman temple, when they would place his image to be cremated, they erected a, tro a put his image in wax with all the 23 stab wounds so everybody can see him. He put him on a cross. And that's a fact. That's all a fact, a historical fact. As in reading the, the, uh, the, the ancient text, and you'll see that he'll tell you all about that. Not in English, but in Latin. And you have to understand the Latin to see that what it, this means. And study the epigraphy. That's where it comes from, idiots. The Pope is nothing but a Roman emperor in disguise. Same, the, the buildings are the same, the temples, the Roman temples, the basilicas and all that. The name remains the same, basilica, which is a temple. It's a courthouse that is also a sacred because the gods are there. The different gods of the Roman Empire. And then you have everything is, is done from that. All the ceremonies, all these dumb bishops over here, they were the Flamins. The divine emperor was a pontifex maximus and he had 15 priests that were senators. All these senators were priests and they were in control of the different rituals of the Roman Empire. The 15 ones were called the Quindicium Viri, the 15 priests in charge of all the different gods of the vast Roman Empire, huge empire. The, the litus that the Roman emperors were, the litus, the crooked, all taking everything is taken from the Roman religion. The sacred religion with the many gods of the vast Roman Empire. And the senators were in control of the religion as long as the Pontifex Maximus that was the divine emperor. And this idiots don't understand. That's exactly so. So the, the ancient Roman Empire is a the Vatican. It's reduced to the Vatican. That's what, it, that's what the whole thing comes from. So the Vatican is what remains of the vast Roman Empire that comprises everything. Considering the, the, the Mediterranean Sea, Mare Nostrum, our sea. That's what it's reduced to. And the imbeciles don't understand it. That's where it comes from. The prayers were said in, Latin, in Greek, not Latin. Every prayer was said in, in uh, Greek in the, ancient, in the ancient Roman Empire because it was the language to talk to the gods. Of the vast Roman Empire was not Latin, it was Greek. Romans claimed to be descended from the Greek gods, especially Aeneas. So everything was religious, done. Everything was religious. And one thing that they don't understand is that this guy, which is nothing but a Roman emperor in disguise, divine emperor, they all benefit from atheism, from mentally healthy atheists. They benefit from electricity, technology created by mentally healthy, in other words, atheist scientists, the gathering of, infor of knowledge over millennia. And these guys used to burn scientists, used to burn anybody with brains. And because they love ignorance, they love staying in the same place and they wear these stupid clothing, the same clothing of, the, of uh, 2,000 years ago. And uh, they benefit from all this. They benefit from the lightning. They benefit from all that stuff. It seems like this idiot here. They all benefit from uh, the technology created by atheists. And that's a fact. So why don't they pray? So the, the, the angels appear with, uh, with lights, and so they illuminate everything. Why don't they pray? So some angels come around with a special uh, opening the mouth really loud and speak to everybody in their ears so everybody knows what this guy is saying. Don't use uh, microphones. Don't use the technology. Don't use glasses created by atheists, you idiot. This is the problem. They're hypocrites. They're stuck in the Middle Ages. They are the cause of all the problems in the world. The mental illness of God believe, I for FIBA, imaginary friend of all irrational belief acceptance, which is at the core, a mental disorder at the core of all the schizophrenia, all religions, uh, psychosis in the, in the planet. They don't seem to realize we are all evolved mutated primates, product of coats and the brain creates thinking. The eyes, so look at this, I study science and you understand how the eyes works. Nothing to do with the hocus pocus of God. This is perceived and analyzed by the brain. Is visual cortex, 
This is explaining science. The Father. Go out. See? Go out and impose the Christian crap on everybody. Look at this. This is the problem of this insanity. It's like, go out and impose your schizophrenia, ancient alien, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> Donald Duck, the rest of the imaginary friends on everyone. Impose zombie Jesus, the zombie that resurrects on everybody. In a person's life. And that's what Columbus did. That's what Inquisitors did. That's what the Christ Academy Crusaders did. Everybody imposed. That's just about the rape of the Americans, the rape of the natives, and the imposition of an ignorance, the psychosis, schizophrenia, or some big unbelief. A schizophrenia of Christ psychosis, psychopathy, criminals. That's what happened. That's what religion is, especially Christianity is the most despicable, vile, neurological disorder of virus that try to impose their stupid, crazy thinking on everybody on this planet. This is the problem. This guy should be locked up. All the people that believe in God should be locked up in mental institutions, in sin asylum. Want to save the poor? Sell the Vatican, you imbecile. Sell. The only God is the cock that we have in our, between our legs. Proto of evolution. For billion years of evolution. That's what it is, the penis, that we shoot sperm and create brains of human beings. Idiot imbecile hasn't even used his. What a, he failed the purpose of life, which is reprodu reproduction. He didn't pass his gene. He's a failure. He's a psychotic man, a schizophrenic. Like all pe people that believe in imaginary friend gods and crap like that in this 21st century. He's stuck in the 12th. That's the problem today. Yeah. Deluded man, a schizophrenic, doesn't realize to respond that, to that call. Jesus was Caesar. Jesus Christ is a title of Julius Caesar, Divus Julius. That's what he should be honoring. Let's all be like Julius Caesar, the so Christus, we are heirs an amazing man, conquering in the reason so he gave his blood for the kingdom of heaven, which is the vast Roman Empire. Tremendous morality. That's what he should be honoring. He should be honoring Julius Caesar, the Christus. That's the Christ right there, Julius Caesar. And this moron, this sick man, Suffering from Christ psychosis, doesn't understand that. You should learn history. Learn that we create thinking with the brain. So he should know that. He should know science. Of the gospel. Gospel, my ass. Idiot. He's making a criminal, psychopath like Columbus a saint. The man raped the natives in California, in that area there, with the stupid missions. To protect it from those who had mistreated and abused it. No! You guys were the ones that mistreated. These conquistadors, this despicable psychopath, are the cause of all this disgusting. They give people the native viruses. They come around and took their land. They steal everything. The owners of the Americas are the natives. They did that all through the Americas. They did that to my, to my ancestors in, in South America. The natives, they rape them. They conquer all the Mexican the, uh, empires and the Aztec empires uh, and, the, and the Inca empires in the Andes. It's thanks to Columbus, the psychopath, and this moron, deluded man, wearing a dress, stupid, stuck in the, in the fourth century, come to the United States of America in this 21st century, and join atheist scientists, because atheism induces the science, the technology, thanks to atheists, mentally healthy atheists, not imbeciles that believe in resurrecting somebody that say with blood. And he's taken one of the big criminals and call him a saint, imbecile. What a moron. Disgusting people belonging in a mental institution. Why do we have to receive lunatics like that? Should close all the churches and put all these people in the hospitals they belong. Psychopath. Telepathic communication with imaginary friends also a product of schizophrenia, mentally ill people. I can convert my beer into urine, saccharomyces cervicae. And let me explain to you about chrysacosis. This, uh, this utterances of lunatics.
are mentally dysfunctional people. This comes from 1,700 years ago from the cult of Divos Julius, when the, the whole thing changed into so-called now the universal, in other words, Catholic Church of the Christus, which actually is the title of Julius Caesar. Now, in these ceremonies, all taken from Roman religion, all of them, including Yom Kippur, which is today, uh, Abrahamic uh, psychosis, they have, they obtain all these ceremonies out of their, the cult, the, the ancient religious rituals of the, in the Roman Empire. And they were done in Greek, not in Latin. But anyway, this call is the Mass, the Christian Mass. Here, this part of the Mass is called the transubstantiation. If you are a Catholic, or a Christian, you have to believe that some be resurrected and say with blood name Jesus Christ. But the Catholics take it a, a, a step further. They believe in this moment, they call it transubstantiation, that the Pope, when he makes these this magic words, the, the wine that he's using, it turns into the blood of some Jesus. I mean, not metaphorically, true, it changes, it changes and becomes the blood of some Jesus. And the bread or the cracker, like, like uh, imbecile uh, Trump said, the cracker turns into the flesh, not metaphorically, not symbolic, into the actual flesh of some Jesus. That's what these Catholics both believe. If you are a true Catholic, you have to believe that this actually happens. That makes you a schizophrenic, a schizophrenic imbecile, with a faulty brain stuck in the fourth century. And if you're a Christian, you have to believe that a, there, that a zombie named Jesus resurrected to say with, and using his blood to say with blood for the crime committed or the, the, the sin committed by a madman and a rib woman when they accepted a forbidden fruit. From a talking snake in a garden. The Bible crap mythologies I have to believe as true. If, you, if you're a true Christian, and if you're a true Christian, you should go, go to the Grand Canyon and prove that you believe in life after death. Be so be Jesus with eternity. Go to the Grand Canyon and say, in Jesus' name, we jump. <laughs> Kill yourself. Join life after death. But anyway, Catholic Christ, uh, psychotic believes that this is actually true and this actually is fact when the, the Pope, the, the Grand Christ psychotic, schizophrenic man with a really big mental problems says his magic words, and, uh, and this thing happens. They have been, they're anti-science imbeciles. They have been corrupted the brain of children for 1,700 years. And they are the, uh, they are at, the, at the control of nations, especially the United States, which is a Christianity-infected nation. Scientists mentally healthy, in other words, atheists, scientists who rule. We should rule the countries and put these mental, mentally dysfunctional idiots in the institutions they belong in all the hospitals. Do not benefit from science created by mentally healthy atheists, imbeciles. Call your angels. Do uh, metamagical prayers. Communicate with the angels, mental telepathy with the, with the imaginary friends, psychotic imbeciles. But anyway, that's where it comes from. And they have to believe it. You're a Christian, believe that all this crap is true. And while the grand Christ psychotic, <laughs> the Pope, <laughs> is visiting Christ psychotic infected America, in Mecca, the Islam psychotic morons <laughs> are stampeding <laughs> in the Hajj when they were going to stone the devil. And uh, I think the devil stoned them. And believing God, religion is not a mental illness? Accepting imaginary friends as true. This is what happened. It's a psychosis, an HIV of the brain. See, the devil is stoning them, and it's, look at this. They're all infected with Islam psychosis. It's the, the HIV of the brain, the virus, the, the dumb, clueless, mentally healthy atheist scientists and neurologists do not see. Religious beliefs are a mental illness, it's a psychosis. The HIV of the brain. Remember to keep your brain healthy. In other words, atheist. In pace deorum.